Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We have a very special match today for the match series, a thousand dollar match. We're challenging pros, amateurs, influencers all over the country, all over the world. We have no other than the man himself, Mr. Sam Murphy. Yes, sir. So, thank you for coming, brother. Hey, I'm, I'm ready. He's been on a bunch of qualifiers, a bunch of APT, APTs, right? Yep. And uh, just trying to make his way into Q school, that coming up. I'm super excited to watch him. But we have a great match for you. Champions Gate International Course, 18 holes, stroke play. May the best go. man win a thousand dollar match. We're gonna put it on Big the time. line. Thousand dollars. Sam already put it up. Big time. I got a, a financial advisor putting up the money for me. <laughs> but we're gonna go par four here to start. Let's go. Let's have a Let's great go. time. Let's do it. Sam's gonna flip the tee. We're gonna see who goes first. That's you, my friend. Sam, Sam's gonna leave. So good one to start off today. Trouble looks right. So we're just going to try and keep this left side and hopefully hit a fairway to start off the day. Really good. If you guys don't remember, last year we did PJ Tour qualifying for the Bermuda Championship here, shot five under and missed it by one shot. So we got some revenge to do on this course. Uh, got a great player that we're going against and uh, just been feeling good lately, so let's let's start out here with a good good drive and uh, lead it off right. Come on. Yeah, that's gonna be 50 yards behind yours, but it'll work out. That'll work out. Been hitting that mini slice lately, so we'll see how that holds up today. Appreciate you coming on. Sam has been a uh, a very delightful friend for what maybe. Five months. five months we've known each other for five months and know, like, know yeah for, for years and years but yep. this has been uh this has been awesome been really looking forward to like playing with better players uh putting myself up for the challenge and like you know i'm trying to get to his position you know professional level so this is a great way for me to you know document that and like document myself getting to you know places that i want to be yep. so um this is gonna be fun this is gonna be really fun all right jacob you pan all the way that way. I told you, I told you uh, there was going to be a Walmart at some point today. That's a Sam's Club, brother. <laughs> hey, that's I've never heard I've that. never heard that, but I freaking love it. The skirt has been pulled out early. All right, we got 175 downwind. I'm going to lead us off with a nice smooth 8-iron. Oh, that's That is going to be long left. May not be the best miss there. So it's a little bit of uh, water uh, in the fairways. It's pretty moist out here. We're going to play it lift clean in place. We got 133. Going to hit a little sand wedge in there. Let the wind take it. Oh, great shot. That's perfect. <laughs> Can I own a uh, turf bill? <laughs> All right, we got a little tricky one to start the day, but these are actually the ones that I don't mind on the first or second because I feel like it gets us a little bit of momentum and gets us a little bit dialed for the day. So I got a chip here about 15 yards. Let's put it close. Oh. <laughs> Almost jarred it on the first. What a start. I know, dude. I try to, I try to make that. It's good to make. We'll, we'll, we'll finish it out just... Okay. Just for the day to get ready for the qualifier. We got one more week well to the uh, Bermuda Championship qualifier. <sighs> got to keep getting better. So we'll see if Sam can roll this in. Evan made that one look pretty easy. Uh, it's going to be the first putt of the day. So greens look a little bit hairy. Love to start off with a with an early make. Dead in the heart, go. Oh. <laughs> Okay with it. Tap in par. If that's gonna be our day today, you guys are in for a great match. Mm. 89, I'm gonna hit it. 75-ish, I think. Hey, I got a nine. nine. I want you guys to know something. Sam is our first dual sport athlete. He is uh, somebody that we wanna support in his journey professionally. If you guys don't know, dual sport brand is gonna be a brand that represents athletes that are destined for more, destined to be versatile, and uh, we're happy to have him and also Cornelius Brown, quarterback and golfer from Alabama A&M. Super excited to have 
stay a part of the team and uh, support his journey going pro. So, uh, yep. yeah, appreciate it. Fired you. up. Let's go. Fired up. All right. So why don't we make a hole in one now? Same yardage here. I got eight. I'm gonna try to knock it down a little bit. Oh, here we go. There we go. Two on the green. It's always good. We're both dancing. Let's make a birdie. I think something crazy is gonna happen. I don't know what it is. With how soft these greens, I mean, yeah. not I look where that landed, but yeah, it spun back. Right something's now. gonna happen. Something's gonna be incredible on this video. We're gonna say it right now. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen. Something good's <laughs> gonna happen. What the heck is this? It's inflated, dude. Hey, I can co control the spin. That's what we do out here. We have a uh, hurricane. What was the first one? Helene. Helene. Now we have Milton. Coming in strong, this video will probably be out a few days after Milton arrives, but um, yeah, praying for everyone in the Tampa, Orlando area. This is literally Orlando at its finest right here in Champions Gate, so hopefully this course doesn't get you know too beat up, but um, this storm is a Category 5 right now, and it's by Mexico, so who knows what it's going to be when it gets here, so praying for everyone that's in the, in the line. Got about 20, 25 feet for the birdie on the second. Let's go ahead and make it. All righty, we'll take two tap-in pars to start the day. Just play this a little outside the left and hopefully get one up on him. Worst putt yet. Worst putt I've hit. This kid's grainy. Long time. All right, par. Take two pars there, though. Mm, that's tough. Before we get on with the rest of today's video, I want to give a huge shout out to our partner, Underdog, for sponsoring today's video. If you love the fall and football season just like I do, now is the time that you can follow along your favorite player's stats. All you gotta do is select higher or lower and you can win big. It's as simple as this. All you have to do is download Underdog, use code DUAL, and you can get up to $1,000 in bonus cash. And if you're anything like me and you love to be a part of all the primetime games throughout the week, Thursday, Sunday, Monday, here are my picks for this weekend. Been dialed as of late, and if you wanna hop on it, I've been uh, utilizing that lower. So go ahead and select more of that. You'll be seeing some wins there. If you wanna tail these picks right here, go ahead and use code DUAL and you'll get one free pick and that's Bo Nix over one total yard. All you gotta do now is download Underdog and use code DUAL for up to $1,000 in bonus cash. Let's get to work this season, boys. This is our year. Let's get you right back to the video. Our first par five. Uh, hopefully get a big bird in there one, between one of us. Pretty tight little tee shot just stay left of the bunker uh, and right of the high stuff so keep hitting good drives and take advantage of them if that carries that's going to be big that's going to be close oh don't love it don't love it that's tough it's like you want to hit driver here but i just don't feel like it gets pretty tight up there i'm going to go three wood here try to put it right at those bunkers Exactly how we drew it up. That's the best feeling in golf. When you look, you hit, and it just goes right where you want it to. That's freaking special. Oh, did I reach these bunkers? Oh my gosh, dude. Wow, this is like, I was about to say, yours might have carried. 305 to these freaking bunkers. When you just probably carried about right here, and up there, it's gonna force us to lay up here. I got nine iron here. Give you a little rake, uh, rake lesson in the bunker. I caddied at East Lake for two years, so I got ridiculed my first ever time caddying. You have to push and not pull. Okay, what we're gonna do is push and not pull. See, pull. And if you do pull, you're gonna pull with the opposite side. So pull. Look at that. 
at how perfect that ring shot is. Look at how absolutely perfect. Does it look good? Yeah. Did you hit it good though? Yeah. So taking a drop, uh, tried to do a little searching, came up empty. We're gonna take some of his uh, APT money over there, um, and he's probably gonna take some of my brand deal money because you know I need it. Hopefully we. Uh, Hopefully we uh, <laughs> we start playing a little better, so it's equipment <laughs> equipment sponsor will come our way. Something good is gonna happen today. Hitting hit my third here, so hopefully just try and get one somewhere up up by the green and make a par at worst. Tough hole. Fighting off a little sickness, fever, cold, whatever it may be. And usually I play my best golf when I'm sick. Don't know why. I just feel like maybe your mind is not thinking about golf. It's thinking about like getting healthy. And that's what happens. We're in our ideal wedge zone here. 110 right at it. Let's put it close. Long ways away. That was pounded. This wind is actually a lot stronger than I thought. That hurricane's coming in quick. Well, uh, second hazard ball on this hole. I'm gonna give Evan a little head start. Um, yeah, he might need it later on. So let's see, three in, four out, hitting five. So let's try and save a bogey. Weird kick. That's not very friendly after the, the first two shots on this hole. Could be a huge swing right here. I think, what is that, six for him? Mm -hmm. All right, and this is four for me. That's why I think this hole is always a three-shotter. I never I never try to go for it. So we got a 25-footer right to left for birdie. Let's try to drain it. No. Ah, did the same thing. Might switch over to that lab. I need some uh, putts to start dropping. Need some putts to start dropping, boys. This is a big putt. Uh, this would only be one down after that debacle. So I'm going to play it like left center and hit it hard and hopefully, uh, hopefully it finds the bottom. Tap in seven. Down two. You're going to see how Sam responds and you guys are in for the ride. This is the first time I've played for money on camera. Really? Yeah. I've never bet anybody. I mean, this is a huge wager. I mean, this is a big wager. This could pay for four uh, entries into qualifiers. Yeah. It's big. Do like us two against like two pros yeah. and like see if they would put down like money Gold for like a, like, a, like a fundraiser or yeah. something or like a for charity. Yeah. I think that would be awesome. All right, we got 144. Kind of thin that two iron, so didn't really put too much oomph on that one. But we got a, we got an eight iron. Gonna hit a little chippy one. This is what I've been doing. When it's into the wind, I go a club or two clubs more, take the speed off and chip it. So here we go. Or just chunk it straight left. That was terrible. If you club up and you chunk it, it goes the same distance. Can just try and hit a little soft, controlled sand wedge in there. Hopefully, land it a little past it and rip it in. Good shot. That is perfect. Cool. Uphill foot. Cool. Maybe a little more wind up there than we thought, but exactly we'll take it. To be. We'll take it. Small little chip here. Old downhill, downwind, down grain. Gonna go 60 halfway there. This could go in. Bit like crazy. <clears throat> yeah, they are soft. They are really soft. A making a miss would get this match 
back all square. Put very good strokes on them. Tap in par. Okay. What happens when you bring a uh, Louisiana boy to Florida? Struggle on them greens. You got a par putt, 12 feet. Let's make it. Oh, big. Oh, big. Let's go. That's huge. That's freaking huge, man. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Hey, that's a huge momentum putt. That's gonna put us. That's gonna put us under par today. I guarantee you. That putt right there. We're gonna. We're gonna. We're gonna drain a ton of birdies coming in just from that. I feel like par putts. Big par putts are huge for the rounds. Let's keep going. Best college golf experience. What would you say? From the standpoint of like fun, we went to the Bahamas my uh, junior year. Golf went very good, but it was a stayed in Atlanta. That's crazy. It was, just, it was unbelievable. I feel like that's the best part about college golf is right. those like random trips yeah. to like Hawaii or Puerto Rico or Bahamas. Five of your buddies. It's crazy. So it's, like, it's like a golf trip. Yeah, literally. It's, it's insane. Every time. <laughs> that's how I felt. And it's not like it's not like it was like. It was just like. It was just. It was just my nose. Yeah, like. Yeah, yeah. Just heavy breathing. Just trying to. Have Might have to clear out those uh, those. Uh, those nostrils at some point. You need to get me on your training program, bro. <laughs> yeah, I do. No. Part three, 205. I got six iron. That gets there. Yo, yo. Oh my God. What? How close is that? It's right there, dude. It's right there. Can you see it. it? Yeah, I can see it. Got it look. looks like it's right on it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna try and mimic that. I got a six as well. Uh, wind, I think off seeing that, I don't think it's really hurting a ton. Uh, so I'm just gonna cut one, cut this one off and hopefully get inside Evan. Did exactly how I wanted to. Wind just did not touch it. Evan's a little further than we thought. Still right over the stick. Uh, so I'd love to see this go in, put a little pressure on. Trying to make it. We can call it that. You're kind of you're kind of joining the Hammer Hands team over here. Yeah. Jr. told me that a few weeks ago, and it hurt my soul. Oh, hey, I was spot on from the tee shot that we were 20 feet. It kind of looked like it was right right close by, but you know, still a good shot from 200 yards away. 20 feet, right to left. Let's put a good stroke on it and make another one. Oh! Oh my God, I thought I had that. All right, I will definitely take that. Four, was it four? Four holes in? Five holes in? All pars? I like it. I uh, got about 12 feet, a little right to left. We need it. Okay. Not good. We're down, we're not out. If we can start competing with pros, I think I might turn pro. What do you think? Why not? I mean, I don't make any money staying in, but I do gain a lot of experience because there's a lot more events to play. So let me know in the comments, you think I should or not? I'm not really where I want to be scoring average wise. I was 71.8 last year, but if we if we get around that 70 number, I think we do it. We'll see. I lost to Parker in a playoff, beat Grant and beat George. So that's two and two. So I really, you know, nobody really cares what the record is, but I just feel like if I can just come away above 500 in this match series this year, I would be happy. I think that would put me in a good position. We got a really tough par four here. This is this is one where you just gotta hit great quality golf shots. 470, I got three wood. Let's go. Oh, the choke. Hey, the dead straight choke. That's gonna work. Right, Another good hole, uh, I mean, as Evan just said. Just, you gotta hit two quality golf shots, so we're gonna start off, hopefully we'll hit this one good. Oh. Uh, it's, 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 it's
part of your game is that you're working on right now? I mean, basically, like many tours, you just got to be able to go like stupid low. So uh, you just got to hit it well off the tee, and your wedge is like inside 125. You have to be really good. So you have to be a great putter, but you have to be able to make putts inside 10 feet. And wedges and, and maybe that mid-range putting. Yeah. Another bad position. Uh, just going to hit a little six degree layup, hopefully scramble out of par. All right, here we go, uphill battle. We got 227. I got six iron, load down wind off the left, try to keep this below the hole. short yep that wind is a little I thought it was down wrong club selection hey still below the hole though that's exactly what we wanted all right uh, 133 a little down off the left got a 56 degree probably need to hit this pretty close You know, at the end of the day, I feel like Sam is going to turn his round around at some point. I know professional golfers have that in them. Just look at like Scotty, when he goes off, doesn't have the best start, he flips a switch, turns it around. So I got to keep the pedal down right here. It wasn't our best six iron. I thought the wind was down, it was not. So we have a 15 yard chip straight away. I'm going to try to snuggle this up there. Man, they are so soft. Man, they are so soft. No excuse though. That was uh, wasn't our best chip there. Got to be better. Got about 15 feet left for the par. I like to see just one go in. Looks overall pretty straight. So I'm gonna line this one up. Tap in bogey. Hey, I tell you one thing. If you're watching this channel, you're watching my channel. I feel like the biggest thing that I try to do is keep people up, like keep their charisma up, their spirits up. So I'm gonna try to push Sam a little bit. Probably get him a few words of wisdom and uh, try to get him back under par. So we got a tough par putt, 15 feet right to left. Try to make it again. That literally went like in the hole and then came out. Wow, that's golf for you. That is golf. All right, well, at the end of the day, we got a lot of scoring holes coming up. From, from seven to 14 is birdie fest. So you're about to see it right now, the most birdies we've ever made on the channel. Stay tuned for this. I think the biggest thing about golf is like, knowing that your next shot is going to be your best shot yep. so when you're in a position like you are now how do you handle those situations what's your mindset like how what like take me through your thoughts uh, right now. so i mean right now four over after six i mean you can easily throw in the towel and, and yep. kind of just head home the rest of the day yeah uh, if you trust like the work you put in like you're gonna yeah you're gonna battle through it yep. and uh get hot at some point yep. so um I mean, yeah, that's a big thing. Just trust that the, the work that you've put in is gonna show. Mm -hmm. so. I think it will. You got some scoring holes right here. Here we go. Looking like Grant over there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I feel like I've been, ever since I've been, I played with Grant, I feel like I've struggled with the lip outs late, lately. I don't know what's been going on. Grant, you need to stop it. You need to stop it. We got a good par four here. It's usually like a five iron pitching wedge. That's what I got. Five, let's go. Yeah, that is perfect. It's gonna be a great angle. Great angle into the flag. Set us up for birdie. So he hit five, I'm gonna take a little off four. I don't hit as far as he does. Um, hopefully get down there, have a good number and, and start making some birdies. All right, 
Fairway. 150 sound right, Evan? Yeah. 155 shot, take off some spin. Pin that looks like a back left pin. Hopefully get the wind right and hit one close. So when I'm playing into the wind, I love to do that three-quarter finish. Kind of keeps that flight down. You never want to go full swing into the wind. See, a lot of amateurs do that. Jacob, that's you too. Um, you always want to just hit a three-quarter shot, and I guarantee you, your shots will be way better into the wind. So here we go. You got the wrong guy, not me. It's all right. I think it's a little long. That wind may not be touching it, or I might be uh, hitting too much of the weight room. Big guy. <laughs> big shout out, big thank you to you guys. Um, Duel has been growing so much lately, and I'm so appreciative of all you guys. This has been huge. It's been a dream come true to develop a business and a brand outside of myself. Super thankful for you guys and developing this community. If you're Duel in life, in sports, Whatever the case may be, dual sport is for you. Um, it's, it's growing rapidly, and I'm just thankful. So let's try to make a birdie. We need something good to happen. That's that's kind of where we're at. Uh, Evan's got a good look at birdie. He's rolling it good. So hopefully, hopefully we can knock this in there. For collectively the first birdie of the day to be on hole seven. It's a crazy stat, to be honest, with one, I would say, decent level amateur and a high pro, high level pro. This would be a pretty crazy stat to have the first birdie on the seventh. So here we go. No, 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 no. All right. Well, at least our speed is good. We're gonna look at the bright side. That's my mind always go to, very optimistic. Time to knock one in there, Sam. <laughs> no better time than now. There you go. Finally. Here he comes. Finally. Here he comes. Here we go, momentum pots. I'll tell you what though, I think the best thing about golf is that it really teaches you like how you handle situations, not only on the course, but in life too. Like when things aren't all going your way, what are you gonna do? You're gonna throw it in, give up, or are you gonna lace up, lace up the shoes and uh, go to war? So it's pretty cool to watch. Yep. I'll tell you what, the Lord has really blessed us today. We were looking this morning, great weather, and then we pulled up to the golf course, pouring rain, and I'm sitting here right when we started to tee off, it stopped. The Lord knows that we're about to do His work today. And anybody out there that like that knows me, I just know that like everything happens for a reason, and uh, He's here to you know showcase His work and uh, do a little bit of golf. So uh, let's dominate this par five. How about that thing? I've implemented um, like praying before the first tee. Like when I'm in my warm up, like I'll just step back and kind of like say a quick prayer and it's changed like everything. Yeah, everything. Like especially on the first tee, I'm so nervous. <clears throat> like I'm running down on kickoff. Yeah. I'll just step back and kind of like do one of these like at the USAM. All my nerves went away. So if anyone out there just set a little prayer up and it'll change your life. Here we go. That'll work, but that is just, I almost missed the ball. Almost missed the ball. That's pretty awful there. We'll cut off the cell phone tower. End up over the egret. End up over the egret. End up over the egret. Here we go. Hit it where we were aiming. Ah, man, almost completely whiffed that ball. But hey, middle of the fairway from a almost whiff, I will take that. And we're not gonna lay up, I'll tell you that much. We got 247 still. Um, we got our trusty driving iron here. This green is very tough to hit, it's very small. We didn't come here to lay up, so let's run. Oh my God. Oh, 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 that might be the best one. 
I pit. Oh. Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh. Let's go, baby. That, that had a different dry. sound to it. That, that had a different sound to it. Oh my god. All right, 220, playing for a jumper, so I got a six iron. Uh, I mean, missed a short left, so hopefully Evan's up there with a good look at Eagle, so I need to put a little pressure on him. Oh. Go. Cover it and go. All right. Okay. Just short. So we'll take it. Uh, pretty short-sided. Luckily, these greens are soft, so it shouldn't be an issue getting to stop. Evan hit... One of the best shots I've seen in a while, so uh, he's got a good look. We need this to go in. Weird little kick. We'll take it. It's pretty solid there. Those are the ones that bring you back right there. That was awesome. That felt good. That was to the soul right there. 250, two iron into the wind. That was beautiful. Got about 20 feet for the eagle. Let's try to roll this one in. Might be one of the worst putts we've hit since starting golf. A couple testers for four. Shouldn't be nothing to it. Just kind of right up the gut. Good birdie. Hey, there he goes. Hey, he's off. The oh, he's off. <laughs> yep. Yep. There we go. All right, get us back to even. There we go. Making a little push. We're gonna make a little push to get this round back to under par. We want that 70 scoring average number. So it brings us to even into three over. That's uh, it's gonna be a close one there, folks. We're gonna move it down. Obviously, we know that both of us can go low. So if you're still watching this video, stay tuned. Yeah, what are we seeing here? Uh, we got a par four, final hole of the front nine, 410 yards. I got two iron to start. Yeah, that should work. That should work. Right down Main Street. Right, right down Main off. Street. Yeah, I mean, we gotta get the momentum flipped. So, uh, hit a good one here. Hopefully get up, should be able to get up close, close around the green being downwind and uh, finish, finish this nine off with another birdie. knock off some cobwebs here. <laughs> All right, Jake, we're going to try to get this wind right on this one. We have it straight down, so we're going to trust it here. I got 135 pin. I have sand wedge. Just trying to go right at this flag, keep the pressure down on Sam. That's all over it. That is all over it. And I might have took the whole earth with me as well. Take a little car path relief. Head over this way. It's a peach. 55, kind of a little touchy shot here. Bunker short. Um, over the bunker kind of runs down to the hole. Out of this lie, it's pretty unpredictable, so hopefully it's going to come out a little dead. Just carry the bunker and roll right on in there. Landed a little bit on and let it release on in there. Going to hold. Going to hold. Oh, great shot. Thanks. Great shot. Make golf look hard right now. So that was okay. Tap this in far. Get off this front nine. This would be a great way to finish the front nine. This would put us at one under. We have about 20 feet just short of the flag. Put a good stroke on this and roll this in. Let's go. All right. Well, six birdie putts short later. Finish that even. 
front nine, finish at even par, Sam's at three over. We are gonna have a great back nine for you. Probably the lowest on the channel. I always like to be optimistic, so we're gonna uh, see if we can hold off this weather and make a charge. Here we go. How about that freaking Alabama loss, bro? Yeah. Was, uh, I don't think I've ever in my million years thought Vanderbilt, Vanderbilt. could beat know, Alabama. So we're going to have a uh, great back nine for you folks. i going to start off with this par 4, 430 yards. I got two iron. Another one of those tricky par 4s. Oh, see where that ends up. Should be fine. Just down the right side of the fairway. Yep. Should be perfect. Got this thing on a rope today, bro. Another good driving hole, so hopefully I can figure them out here sooner rather than later. Alright. That's perfect. That's the Sam we know right here. There we go. How about we implement some more college football talk on the channel here? I feel like yeah. a lot of people that are into football watch watch these videos, so if you guys would like that, let us know. We'll, uh, we'll talk some shop on some college football because I try to stay in the game as much as I can, especially coming from it. So, um, if you guys want to, we I'll talk football all day. I play golf a little bit here and there, pretty much every day. But I will watch football 24 hours a day if if, uh, if it was up to me. I feel like that would just be very on brand for us to talk college football while we're golfing. I mean, that's just right up our alley. Just got to stay in the game somehow. Hey, but that was a absolutely perfect two iron. Right down the middle, we have 156. I got pitching wedge, straight down wind. Let's go. Be as good as you look. Let's go. Yeah, good work. Let's go. Thank you, sir. Let's go, baby. Come on. 123. Down wind. I mean, these are the ones you got to make, you know. What do you think, Kevin? Do you expect to make them from here? Yeah. You got to aim small, miss small. <laughs> Yo, That's pretty bit. special. Oh, oh, oh. I think that should be really good. Oh, so here we go. Wow. That here we nice. go. Right at it. Great Finally. Job. Finally. Great <laughs> How do you feel about this putt coming up? Uh, I'm in love with it already. I, I fell in love with it on the way up here. Uh, that's what I always try and do. You just got to fall in love with everything out here. Uh, and if you love something, you know, hopefully it loves you back at least half half the time, you know. All right. You'll get some that, that won't love you back. I want to say that to Jacob. If you fall in love with something, I hope they love you back. Because he's done that multiple times with things outside of the golf course, and it really hasn't worked for him. Right. I've learned you just got to control what you can control. It's football, so what, football talk right there. What does that mean, though? You really can't. You can't love everything. But right. well, you, no, I can, but I can't be in control of the what outcome. They, yeah, what they think. Right. Or how they feel. I just gotta keep swinging. Swing I gotta keep doing my thing. You shoot or shoot, shot. buddy. Shoot or shoot. Oh, look, I gotta swing my shot. Shoot or shoot, buddy. And look, I'm getting married in February, so I shot my shot, and uh, I think we're just waiting for you to do it, there, bud. Don't tempt me. <laughs> I mean, not, not too much in it. So hopefully, put good roll on it and it loves me back yes there he is here we go there he is here we come oh here boy. we come it loved me back it loved me back <laughs> you got to talk to it nice here we go we're gonna talk to it really sweet right here yeah. really really sweet try to give it a go Hey, I tell you what, I'm proud of that. I actually got it to the hole. Yep. All right. Well, Sam's on the board. He's back to two. I'm at even. Got a good par five and a bunch of scoreable holes coming up. This is going to be good, folks. Here we go. Finally put a little pressure on him. Uh, let's see if we can keep going. Par five. Uh, water down the left. Just going to try and keep trending. Fairway green, make the putt. Yeah, that's fine right there, just over the bunker. 
you slipped about six inches and you still hit the sweet spot. That's an athlete right there. Duel. That's why we signed him. All right there. That is why we signed him. Slip and slide. That would be crazy if you tore your ACL hitting a golf ball. Now that would that would be something you would do. I'm a dual athlete. That I is, be doing that is that. true. You actually, uh, yeah. You got to get you. Jacob pounds me, so I got to pound him back. Hit low left of his ball. Get ourselves in a good spot. Oh wow! Yeah, that's just that's, that's what we want. That's a sweet shot. That's just absolutely perfect. Yep. Let's go, man. That feels great. Let's put a new driver in play, boys. Look what happens. Start finding the sweet spot. I told you one thing that was gonna happen earlier in this video, mm -hmm. and it happened. I just think that like golf's a game, man. You gotta you gotta take take the punches, 100%. and you gotta give it right back. 100%. I was telling Jacob in the camera when you were sitting away, it was like I think that Sam's gonna rattle off a few birdies here. He's gonna get right back into the match, yep. and that's exactly what just happened. 245. I mean, I'm trying to hit this probably like 220. Just throw five iron up in the air, let it go to work. Nope. That's really, really good. Oh my gosh, dude. Here we come. Oh my gosh. Fall in love with it. Fall in love with it. That's I think that's three feet. I'm gonna be honest with you. Holy cow. Might be might be the best shot I've seen. Wow. Okay, well, pressure's back on me. Because he's gonna make that. 245. I have the same number as Sam. I have four iron. I think we're in the fairway, a little uphill, so try to give this a go. Chunked it. Go. Should be fine. Go. Yeah, never that far. All right. Wasn't our best swing. A little behind it, but we're still in a good spot. Got to get up and down. God. Okay. Wow. Whoa. Freaking. Wow. That's you hit it. Whoa. You hit it so short. Wow. Ten feet short. We just get a little roll out on the jumping five yeah, iron. I guess. I guess you're <laughs> I not gonna. Love that. You're not gonna have any uh, roll out here. <laughs> Time for an up and down here. Time for us to show off the short game a little bit. We got about 20, 25 yards. I'm gonna try to one hop this in the fringe and release it down there. Mm. Not skipped on you. Yeah, it did. That's weird. Love to see this go in. Put a lot of pressure on Evans. Birdie putt. Feeling good after the last one. Uh, pretty similar putt. Just kind of breaking right to left. So uh, we're gonna fall in love with it once again and hope it just finds the bottom. I yanked the absolute piss out of that. Tap in for the bird. All we'll right. take it. <laughs> we'll take it. All right, this would be a huge putt right here. I mean, get us back under par. We never were under par. I don't know why I just said that, but let's try to make this. Same thing I did last hole. Uh-oh, little nerves. All that talk. All that talk. <laughs> All that talk. Big time. Yeah. That's a big putt. Yeah, that's a huge putt. That is a big putt. Ah, man. Freaking 240 in the middle of the fairway. And it takes us four shots getting the hole. The like green it. is right, right on that like little branch right there that's okay. sticking up. Okay. Um, if you go right of it, you're, you're in a perfect spot. Okay. Perfect. Well, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, keep the momentum going. Hopefully, have another eagle pot. Oh my gosh! I wish we had the green cam. Come that is man. freaking perfect. Wow. Great. Yeah, right when we freaking uh, get the get the match close, the rain is falling in. And there's one thing I need to get better in the rain. So I'm gonna really focus on the last couple holes. See if we can make something happen here. right of where I want it but it should be fine. Yeah. Sam's line was definitely the more aggressive. Mine was the conservative. Man this is gonna be interesting. Sam's close to the green. Over there he's walking to his ball and my heel cut went about 285. So now we have about a 50 yard shot and try to snuggle this up there. I've been working on the wedges so hopefully get one close.
There we go. That was the low nip central. Took one out of the Brooks Kepka book. Good position. Uh, off the tee ball. Evans in there tight. Another kind of sip a little pitch. Just get it, get it kind of going. It should release a little bit towards the hole. We're into the wind, but just fall in love with it. Would would love to see this drop. So soft. Try to be better this past year on like routine stuff, five footers, short chips, standard drives, and this is one of them. You have to make these if you want to, you know, do anything in the game of golf. So four footer for the birdie. There we go. There we go. Thank you, bro. There we go. Gets us a one under par. That was a great birdie there from a not so decent tee shot, but puts the pressure back on us. Six footer, uh, not much in it. Need it to keep the match close. Nice putt. Jeez, dude. Three in a row. Big. <laughs> Here we go. Get Ooh, hot. that turkey. Get hot. Get hot. Oh my gosh. All right, three in a row, four under through the last five. It's pretty good stuff. I told you it was coming at some point. You just gotta, you just gotta know. You just gotta know if you don't, if you don't throw the towel in. You keep on riding out, something's good's coming. So that's a testament to his game right there. We got, what is that? Even, uh, sorry, even par, one under. Told you it was gonna get good. We're keeping the box. I told <laughs> him he's not getting it back. Uh, oh, man. Don't really feel bad about it, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, not happening. So uh, just another little short par four. Uh, put it down, down a good spot and hopefully make another, another bird. Just left to the bunker. Should be all right. We'll see. That whole bush right there just scared me. All right, seeing Sam's three in a row really tells me that I need to go. I need it now. Need a good one here. Oh no! Right there. Right there. I hate that swing so much. All right, we're fine. Fine. Just right out of the bunker. <sighs> I get here and I just hold on to it and grip the driver too hard and hold on to the face. Don't release it. That's when you see me hit those slices like that. Need to get rid of that swing. They cost me a lot in tournaments. Saved by the bell right here. We're still in play. Got it in the rough. We have 185 left. Wasn't our best drive. That's the swing I get to get rid of here. So I got seven iron. Just try to keep it onto this wind. I think that's it went right over the pin, just a little long. Uh, 165. I mean, this lie is it's not bad, but that thing's gonna jump. We'll take it. All right, rain's coming down pretty good now. Probably got about a 20-minute sell coming in. That's the one thing I got to get better at is. Uh, playing in the rain. I feel like I'm not very good. So I'm going to try to really focus on this, try to get up and down and see if we can hold this off. Mm. Mm. <sighs> Disgusting. Heavy stuff's not supposed to come down for a while. <laughs> Would love to chip this, but kind of under these conditions right now, I'm just going to try and lag this one up there and make a park. If it goes in, it goes in. In par. Okay, stay it even. Jim, we got about 20 feet left. Try to make this in the rain. This would be huge. I know I wanted that too bad. There's another one. There's another one. Good feed, my buddy, today. How about that dual hat that keeps the dead nice and dry? Yeah. Yeah, we got the waterproof hats. It's just wicks off it. Yeah, it's it beads up. That's the one of the best features about it. We love the we love the style of this one. If anyone out there can help me play better in the rain, leave it in the comments or reach out to me because I need help. Five footer for the bogey. Oh, oh man, that hurt.
hurts right when the freaking rain comes down. That's a six. That is a good old fashioned six. All right, uh, 222. Uh, wind hurting a little bit off the right. Big, big hole on the last. Uh, have my first lead of the match uh, somehow. Um, so we're gonna keep keep staying aggressive and, and uh, hopefully pull it off. Water balls. Water balls. That's what happens when you don't get a new glove after it rains. Completely slip on you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when you when you visit episodes like this, you'll see some relatable golf. That was it. I've done a lot of that, like the last hole, and it happens. It happens to the best players in the world. We got, what did you say it was? All right, 222, low into the wind, off the right. I got four, just trying to penetrate the wind a little bit. Wow. Good God Great. almighty. I mean, it's almost like I hit that cloud and it just took every, everything away from it. 10 yards short from 222. <sighs> Gotta work out. So we had the uh, Bermuda Championship qualifier in about 12 days or so. Um, just kind of feel like if there's any course that I can do it on, I feel like it's this one. If I you know, hit the ball the way I'm supposed to, if I get this putter hot, I feel like we're in a position where we really can go about three to eight under. We need that round here on YouTube. I feel like we need all 18 holes. We need a, we just need it during a match. I feel like we played really well against Brad and Grant. Um, George, we played pretty decent, but we need a deep one. I feel like that's what we've been missing. Um, so I really want to keep on pushing myself because I feel like in the grand scheme of things coming from football, I still have those, you know, those nerves and those so grip hard and, and don't release the club type swing. So I really want to keep pushing myself and uh, keep getting better. Dropping. That's disgusting. Back to position F. Kind of a tough little up and down for, for bogey. So I think Evan's going to get up and down from where he's at. Uh, so we really need to. So hopefully, hopefully this ends up good. That was gross. I've really got to get better in the rain. It stopped right now, a little bit of a drizzle, but not too bad. So I got about 15 yards, 15, 20 yards left. So I'm got a 60 degree, trying to get up and down right here. All right, not too bad. Kind of gave up on it just at the end there, but still got about six feet left for the par. Damage control, trying to lag it up there. If it goes in, great. If not, move on. This right here to stay at one over par. Come on, we need it. I told myself to not miss it low and to play the break, and we didn't trust our gut. Back to two over par with some tough holes coming. Nice Sneak it in there. Get me off this hole. Just like that, the match is tied with four holes remaining for a thousand dollars. What are you made of, huh? What are you made of? Gotta go. That a thousand would actually make my life a million times better. Maybe, maybe I'll give it to like a men's mental health charity because that's what I feel like I need to support. Because with sports and college and everything, guys struggle big time with that. I feel like if I win this match, I'll send it to there because I feel like that's a huge calling on my life. We got four holes remaining. This is a really tough par four, probably the hardest hole in the course. 450 par four, I got three wood. Try to put it in play. Oh, that is ideal. That is freaking ideal. Tough, uh, tough hole here. I'm gonna try and throw the needle here with the driver and uh, get in a good position to make up for that double. That's perfect. Where you want to be. That's where you want to be. 
Okay. One hand magic. Let's say positive right here. I know we had a few rough holes, me and Sam both, but I feel like if you can just stay in the right mindset and finish the round strong, you'll be just fine. 164, I got nine iron right here. I know that's short. Cause I just freaking hit. I just freaking hit 30 yards short on the last hole. Why would I try to hit nine? I don't understand. We're gonna go flight at eight. I swear if that's long, that'll really grind my gears. Wow, that was all over the flag. And I, sh mm. is that long? 131. Uh, had this number a good bit. Match is tied. Match is tied. Uh, Evan, I don't, I don't think that's going to be the best position long. So I'm going to try and throw this, in the, throw this one in there close and put a little pressure on him. It's not good for us. Is it early to call a chip in alert? No, it's not too early. I mean, if I didn't hit it 180 yards, maybe we would be putting and not chipping. That's really long, dude. Really long. Well, you gotta live with it. Live with the actions you decide to make. So, we're gonna call it. We're gonna chip this in. I mean, that just doesn't draw. How does that not draw in there? All right, now I'm chipping, but it's tapping par. Stay at two over par. Hopeful to get a few more coming back home. This will be a big, uh, big one to have here. Pretty good spot. A uh, little uphill. Just fall in love with it. Stayed right there. Yeah, I killed it. Uh, doesn't want that thousand bad enough. It's a lot of money, man. It's, it's getting dark. It's getting rainy. The hurricane's coming, but gonna finish off strong. We got three holes left, par four. I think it's 450, this is another tough one. Driver in hand, let's go. That's just right down the left side of the fairway. We should be perfect, friends. That'll be a great spot to go for this, go for this flag right there. That's gonna be good. All right, just follow the leader. Clutch up these last three, we need it. do this right baby come on 175 we got seven iron it's straight into the wind this air is getting really dense try to see if we can put this close kind of swung like a linebacker right there you know come out every so often 163 into the wind uh, just gonna try and back foot an eight iron here just keep it under it and uh, hopefully have a good look. Tough chip after tough chip. Hopefully we can hit one good. Uh, we'll take it. That was not the place to miss. Me and Sam have literally like the same shot. He was just 10 yards left to me, but uh, we got the same shot. Probably going a little bit more of a lower chip shot in there, see if we can get up and down. Yeah. All right. Got <laughs> similar length putt too. This is gonna come down straight to the wire right here. Jake, this would be huge right here. Big putt. This is one of those momentum putts. Last three holes. Gotta get this one to go. Yes! Let's go! Good pot. Thank you. Let's really go. Good. That's what we're talking about. Keep the head down, stroke it nice and through. Mmm, that felt good. Nice pot. Great pot. All right.
right, great for him. Just grinding <laughs> out here. Yes, grinding. sir. All right. Obviously, not the score we want, but very entertaining and back and forth match. We are at two over, both of us. Last two holes remaining. We're tied, neck and neck, for a thousand dollars. Here we go. Hey, that's what it all comes down to right here. You got to show what you're made of. You don't practice for nothing. If you're like all the reps that you do on the driving range, playing 18 at your home course, this is what it really comes down to right here. You got 137 downwind. I've been leaving everything short besides that last hole. So I'm going to go and knock down 50. I'm going to try to jar it. This would be special to make a hole in one right here. Absolutely no spin. That landed like a crater right over the flag. Probably got 20 feet or so. Good spot. The sand wedge is getting its uh, work in today. So 137, I'm going to say probably playing around 120 ish. I'm just going to smooth a little 56 and hopefully, hopefully make it. Hey, at the end of the day, you stumped me. Yeah? I didn't really have anything to say. I intimidated you a little bit, huh? Yeah, you did. A couple holes left. Forgot a glove in the cart. Forgot a ball in the bag. Forgot a thought. I have Sam's range finder. There you go. Just make Bang. a putt. Yeah, that's all we need to do. This is what you want. This is exactly what you want in a match. Uh, this is kind of getting the jitters going. Got to qualify in 10, 12 days, whenever it is. It's going to get us ready. That's for sure. Putt here for birdie. Maybe birdie on the par five, get to even. Who knows, man? Who? No. 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 <laughs> Dude, it hit that right there and jarred it right. Oh, I did pucker you up. <sighs> Puckered myself up. Freaking had it. Speed's been solid on the long ones. Would love to see this one go in. A little heartbreak. Birdie this, birdie the last, get to even. Call the day. Oh. Yes, bud. Hey. Some if, of hey, love you if back. she didn't love me, there's no way she could love you. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Oh, God bless, dude. That was crazy. Both of those balls were tracking right at it and then just kind of wobbled. Oh, ah, the final hole. We've made it. And guess what? We're tied. We are tied. At two over a piece, heading into 18, this is exactly what you want right here for the grand finale for $1,000. Par five, here we go. This is, a, this is a great hole to end on right here. Street lights are coming on, Omni Resort, they're all watching from the balcony. All the way there. You see them? They're out in their balcony watching the final hole. Pretty good crowd over there. 500 and 30. 40 yard par five to end little dog leg right gotta hit a good drive here there's bunkers everywhere hazard right let's do it let's send it off right crowd said you gotta light the candle here did they really they did i just heard them tell you that so you gotta do it watch this you ready for you ready for this candle being lit I'm not sure, but that was a lit candle. Hey, look at that. That's called a lit candle right there, buddy. Here we go. All right, 243. I want to hit four iron balls, just not going very far, so I got a little hybrid. 
gonna try and kind of cut one off, put a little spin on it, and hopefully get it on the surface. Foot. Yeah, the scary thing about it is he absolutely said nothing because I knows it's like five feet away. That's the scary thing. I really don't know. Yeah, he he knows it's good. He knows it's good. You better hit a golf shot, buddy. Yeah, I know. I I I know that, Jake. I know I have to hit a golf shot, considering uh, the Sam's Club um, that he beat me on the first hole was transitioned to the last hole for me. So. You know, if you're if you're in the Champions Gate area, they just opened two huge Sam's Clubs. <laughs> so if you're looking for you know any appliances, groceries, TVs, At a discounted rate. <laughs> clubs, who knows? It's all there. <laughs> two fifteen left to this par five. Just snuck in this rough here, a yard into it. Have a six iron. This is exactly where you want to be on the last. Everybody in their hotel balcony watching. This is what players do right here. They make plays. We're about to do it right now. I probably I probably hit that about a foot behind. We are just short of these pop bunkers. Short of the green. <clears throat> Got about 20, 25 feet. Sam is on the green, probably about 50 feet away. So I really need this to get up and down. Got to hit a saucy one here. Now's the time. Ah, we're not made of the moment. We're not. Uh, the light is just about that uh, shade where you really cannot see what this putt does. So based off feel, uh, it should just leak a little bit to the right for the win. And that putt did not move an inch. I mean, dude, we really haven't made, besides like a few par putts, we haven't really made much. This would be big time for birdie. It's been a rough stretch on the greens. Man. I knew an over par round when it cut it, going against pros. He's got this for the win. You got you one need, putt for you Q need these to go. You gotta love him. To love him. And they love you back at the right time. My guy, appreciate you, bro. Hey. What a match. What a, what a match. Heck what yeah. What a grind. What a comeback. That's the most I've grinded on a golf Holy course in cow. a long time. What a freaking comeback from, what was it? Four, four over, over after six. After four six. Four over after five. Yeah, four after after five. And he comes back with a one over par, 73, 74 for your boy. Moves us to two and three in the match series. Ah, losing record, hate to see it. But at the end of the day, right. some good golf, some good coming down to the wire finish. Yeah. Um, obviously, it shows me, golf. yeah, shows me where I need to get better at. Definitely in the rain. Definitely got to putt better, and definitely got to put ourselves closer for birdie. But Sam, I appreciate you. Right. Thank blast. you so much for coming. Uh, if you guys like the style of video, playing with pros, amateurs, creators, you name it, just leave it in the comments who we should play next. Me and Sam are gonna do a little break 50 for you guys, and I think this duo can do it. So um, appreciate you guys for joining. Until next time, we'll see you later. Peace. Peace.